Hey guys, this is me Rajan Jain and today I'm back with a video which is having a beautiful analysis and I might even challenge you that if you solve it in the first go, please comment in the comment section. So the problem is that you are having an array A of size n which can be up to 10 to the power 3 and the elements can be as high as 10 to the power 18 and you are required to print a subset s it can be any subset but it has to follow two properties the first one being the and of the complete subset s zero so it means that you pick all the elements in your set s you perform and operation so you write binary uh, representation perform and and you get zero over here so what does this mean that for all bits there are elements in your array or there has to be at least one element in your set s subset s which is having zero in that position right to introduce zero in the answer also that's it okay and the second property is that if you pick any two random elements from s their and should be not equal to zero okay so for all the possible combinations of two elements over here their and should not be zero it means that they should have some bit common in them which is set to one in both of them okay so the problem looks easy but let me know if you uh, are having any solution because the solution is based on a very hidden observation and that is if you are having s as an answer i can extract from this set a uh, subset s another subset s dash which is not only following the properties one and two but i am introducing one more property which is there will exist some b bs bit such that in the subset s dash there will be exactly one element x let's say x there will be exactly one element x which is having the bs bit turned to uh, zero and all of the rest elements will have the bs bit one so what i'm saying is if s is an answer then i can extract another set s dash from s it might be even equal to s if it is already satisfying this property what i am talking about but if it's not then i can extract another subset along with another property uh, uh, instead of one and two are satisfied that's fine one more property is satisfied which is there will exist some bit b such that in the subset s dash there will be exactly one element which is having that bit turned off and others are having that bit turned one so if s is not following this condition what i am going to do is so what does this mean first of all it means that for every bit there are at least two elements which are having zero right there will be two elements which are having b as bit as zero right so let's say you pick the first bit and find uh, those two numbers so the, you can easily find two numbers right because there are at least two numbers so you let the first one be uh, p and the second one be q so you know that in the binary representation and let this be the b as bit column so you know that they are having zero and the rest can have one and zero you don't really care let's just focus on this okay and you know that since this is an answer Oh, let me just the labeling of bs bit in the top so that i can write it down yeah so you know that the resultant and will be, will be zero because s is an answer awesome but what i'm going to do is okay first of all since s is an answer what about this part right so what i mean to say is these were your numbers in s right so and on and on you did the and and you got zero right so what i'm saying is consider this orange section that i have made now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove p and i'm going to say that the resultant sub uh, subset is again satisfying properties one and two so the property two will be trivially satisfied because removing an element cannot destroy the property too right 
still any two elements from this will give you and as not zero because the original parent was satisfying it okay but what about the property one how can i say that uh, these numbers will again give me their and as zero so i can say that that by confidence because see this p number might be having zeros in other bit positions also but i know that for every bit there are at least two numbers which are having zero in that bit right so for this bit also there will be some number over here which is having zero in this bit position for here also there will be some number which is having zero in this bit position here also so the resultant still stays as zero okay awesome so what does this mean that if s is satisfying this property then we can stop otherwise we can definitely remove at least one element and we can still have a shorter version of uh, the subset and which is still satisfying properties one and two so just keep on doing it continuously and you will finally arrive at this that i have stated that uh, there will be some subset which is satisfying one and two and as well as the third property that there will be some bit b and only one number from the subset will be having that bit turned off okay so what how does this help us it really helps us to solve this problem and this is how you are going to do it now so i will iterate on all the possible uh, bits and let's say currently i am at the bth bit and i'm just looking for the uh, subset s dash that if it exists i will stop otherwise i will keep on iterating okay so currently i am at bth bit and let's say i'm iterating on my array and i get i get to some number x which is having uh, the bth bit turned off so i consider that number x as this number over here and now i try to see if i can build the rest of my subset which can uh, basically satisfy both of the properties that are asked over here and here okay so how do i proceed now so i know the bth bit and i know that x is already chosen so this is my original array having the n number n minus one numbers actually because if this is my resultant answer that i'm looking for i have already put up x over here and now i am having these n minus one numbers over here and i'm trying to build this subset i'm trying to find the remaining numbers which are this five property one and two okay so guys as you know that we can safely remove all those numbers from our array which are having this bth bit turned off now because we need to pick only those elements which are having that value one awesome remove all those elements which are having bth bit turned off so over here we have bth bit turned uh, turned to one in all the numbers okay so now from this we have to uh, try to build the answer okay so now you might be wondering what element should i pick from this now to satisfy the property one and two okay so uh, so see since all of these numbers over here are having bth bit as one the second condition will be satisfied for any two numbers over here right so what i just need to make sure is that when i am selecting numbers from here and putting them over here their and with x should not be zero if it is i instead of putting them over here i put them in garbage this is garbage okay so i iterate on numbers if that uh, number is basically giving me and value as zero when i perform and operation on of that number with x i put them in, in garbage otherwise i put that number in my set s dash okay so let's say now this uh, bifurcates into so all the data samples or all the array elements will now get divided right some of them will go over here and rest will come over here and i am saying that now if this is having and value as zero then we have found our answer otherwise we let uh, the iteration process on b and x continue until we find an answer and why is that happening put it uh, so you, now you might be wondering why this is working so uh, what is the option you are having over there 
all the points which were giving and value as zero when you perform and operation of it with x you have to put it in the garbage right you can't do anything from that okay so let's say you put the garbage values over here and now you are having the new data uh, with uh, array values over here you know that all of these has bit value turned to one and also you know that they uh, when you perform and operation of x with any of these elements they never give zero so now we can remove the second property because this will no matter what elements you select from this the second property will always be satisfied in this now we just have to make sure the first property is satisfied in s dash and for that to happen it's always better to pick as many numbers as possible right because if a list of numbers is having some resultant and value if you introduce another new number z in this list and again perform and operation this will introduce more zeros only in the resultant right so you pick all these numbers put them over here and if this is now having the and value as zero then this condition is also met i just output as dash otherwise i let the iteration process of b and x continue until i found it find it so guys i hope you have understood this video and you might have enjoyed the analysis and problem solving skills that came along with this question so thank you for watching and try to learn this uh, mindset of uh, problem solving never run down from problems whenever you are stuck try to see what you are trying to solve and try to approach it in different ways until you solve it and uh, if you do competitive programming guys trust me with time you will feel smarter and your iq level will increase and you will be able to do a lot better in problem solving and analyzing problems that you have never faced before so uh, guys if you like my video please hit the subscribe button and share it among your college friends so that it can help as many people as possible and obviously my subscriber count will increase thank you guys happy coding see you in the next video bye